You're listening to Packers Talk Network. Packers Talk. Do you want to experience the thrill of a Packers game at Lambeau Field? If so, be sure to get your game tickets from the longtime trusted source in Wisconsin, Ticket King. Visit their locations in Milwaukee and Green Bay or just go to their website at TicketKing.com. Again, that's the TicketKing.com. Check New York Bozo! New York Bozo! New York Bozo! I got to get my biceps a little bigger. Yeah, you can always work on that. I want to sure use a hot dog with chili. You know what time the game starts? Hey, you got any left-handed footballs? We need to fire him. Is anybody else tired or is it just me? Good thing I'm in shape. You got any eligibility left? I got some advice for y'all. Take two weeks off, then quit. What is up, Packer fans? Welcome to a very special edition of Pack to the Future. I am your host for today, Brian Fonfara. Uh, you won't hear any of your other normal voices, but what you will hear, I am sitting here with Lindsey Pipkins, undrafted free agent rookie out of Oklahoma State, plays at cornerback. We all know how dire of a need the secondary was, so uh, he agreed to come on and talk about his journey to the Packers and uh, what he expects to happen in the next few months. So uh, no further ado, Lindsey, how you doing, man? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing real good, real good. Really appreciate you taking the time. I'm I'm pumped to talk to you. No problem. Right. So so first we got to know how just how does it feel to be a Green Bay Packer? I feel good. It's really it's really a blessing, a dream come true to join the first class uh, program organization like the Green Bay Packers. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're we're pumped to have you here. Um, Look, on my end, at least, it's obvious why the Packers wanted to sign you. You know, six foot. You ran a four two nine at your pro day. They wanted length. They wanted speed. Um, I want to go in a little bit as to what made you pick the Packers. Um, so, you know, we've got a pretty good history of undrafted free agents playing big roles, in, including going back to that Super Bowl team. Did that have any kind of bearing on your decision? Oh uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh... Yeah, uh, those those greats like Sam like Sam Shields and Tremont Williams going mm-hmm. in there as uh, free agents and contributing right away and their success and the things that Coach uh, Joe Witt has done uh, to those corners and then just the way the secondary played last year and then I can come in there and try to compete and try to get a job and try to do what I can do best to uh, help bring in another uh, Lambeau Trophy back to Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right. Yeah, and you mentioned you mentioned Joe Witt. Have you gotten to work with him at all yet? Oh yes, sir. Yeah, he was. Uh, I was out there for rookie mini camp last two days, and man, he's man, he's he's like he's a real guru, real corner guru. He knows he knows everything that comes down to technique, uh, where what spot to be at, and certain coverages, and just culturing and and uh, and sculpting out. Uh, what can what can players do to get better when it comes to technique and, and being a being a football player in, in the NFL and being successful doing that these all with all these great wideouts and how pass heavy the league is now. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's good stuff. We um I think every off season comes by and we're really worried that we might lose him to a defensive coordinator job, but he just he stuck around and, and we couldn't be any happier. Um yes, sir. so Two of the last three NFL drafts, the Packers spent their first two picks on cornerbacks or safeties. Is that kind of intimidating to you at all, coming in as an undrafted rookie, or are you kind of just pumped about that kind of competition? Uh, no, so I'm always I'm always up for the comp- uh, competition. Uh, I control what I can control. Uh, them them picking uh, those players, I can't I can't control that. So I know what I'm good at and what my abilities are and I just try to come in with a with a chip on my shoulder every day and work hard and compete and challenge challenge my competitors. All right, all right, I like that. Um, so you said you know what you're good at, you know what your strengths are. So um, why don't you go ahead and tell the people? You know, this is a, a fan base that uh, they attend a lot of the mini camps and they watch all of the preseason games and all those chances that you'll get to shine. So what should they look for out of you? 
And I'm a uh, I'm a very energetic player out there. You know, I'm I don't press a lot. I, I'm I'm into myself. Um, I'm a real I'm a, I'm a press corner. I'm real physical. Uh, I'm gonna make plays. I'm not gonna take too many chances, but I'm gonna go whenever I feel like it's, uh, it's the right time to go in. I'm gonna come out here and do the, and be be contribute to the defense uh, as a Green Bay Packer. All right, all right. Um, so you know, there's only been a couple days of the rookie mini camp. Do you have any um, any of the other rookies that you've been kind of hanging out with more than the others? Uh, yes, sir. I really just been with a uh, a lot of the a lot of the draftees. Uh, Kevin King, uh, Malachi. Uh, been with Josh Jones, and uh, I've been with Aaron. And we we just been getting getting a little closer, getting to know each other a little bit better. You know, all of us have we all have different stories, so we're all just trying to trying to get together and try to see uh, what we can do to make this ball club and try to contribute. All right. All right. One last question, man. I got to know, um, cause I've, I've never spoken to a Packer before and I've been to green Bay. There's not a whole lot to do outside of, you know, the green Bay Packers in my opinion. So what do you do outside of these practice times? Man, I'm just, I'm in my playbook just trying to, trying to learn the plays and, uh, really just taking care of my body, uh, stretching and everything. Cause I know, uh, you got to take care of your body here in the NFL. That's what that's what's going that's what's going to keep that's what keeps people here. So I'm just trying to listen to everybody, all the veterans and everybody who's been in my position before, and and try to do what I can do to help me stay healthy. All right, all right, yeah, just all football all the time, then, hey. Yes, sir. Football, football, football. All right. I don't, I don't think anyone's going to be upset by that. All right, man. Is there hey? Is there anything else you wanted to say to to the Packers or to the fans? All right, go pack, go. Let's get it. I like that. I like that. All right, we'll be watching you closely, man. Uh, hopefully, we'll be we'll be watching you on Sundays this fall. And uh, yeah, best of luck to you, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate everything. All right, thank you, man. All right, thanks again, Lindsey Pipkins. Really appreciate you coming on. Um, sounds like a good young kid man he's confident he's ready to go so uh watch him closely and uh man this dude's definitely gonna make the the all nfl name team Lindsay pickens is an awesome awesome name all right pack to the future is brought to you of course by pride and glory clothing you can visit them online at pride and glory 63.com they've got some awesome packer shirts uh wristbands hats all kinds of cool stuff man go check them out um be the coolest kid on the block with some awesome Packers gear that no one else has. They're good stuff. All right, I'm Brian Fonferry. You can find me on Twitter at PTTF underscore Brian. And, of course, you can find our show on Twitter at PTTF underscore podcast. Thank you so much for listening. And as uh, Lindsay said, man, go Pack Go.